Good afternoon. My name is Lance Turner, Reverend Lance. Um, I'm doing a video on Jeremiah 44.3. It talks about how we we can provoke God. God is a spirit that can be provoked. So it says here, they provoked my anger with all their wickedness. They burned incense and worshipped other gods. Gods, neither they nor any of their ancestors ever known. One way we provoke God, provoke God to anger is by worshipping idols. We provoke God to anger by believing that there are multiple gods. We provoke God to anger by being atheist, agnostic, referring to God as a higher power. We need to give credit to when credit is due. The problem we have is that we don't praise God enough. We need to get into the habit of praising God. And not just you all, me too. I mean, because I feel like I don't do it enough and I feel that one of my weaknesses is in prayer. I don't know how to enhance or uh, do a prayer. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that God doesn't want you to be fancy with words and that's not my issue. The issue I have is sometimes I don't know what to say when I pray. And I do know that God wants you to be direct with him and don't you don't have to be fancy like the Pharisees and the Sadducees were trying to do when they were praying. We also need to get in the habit of seeking God at all times, whether we're in financial troubles, financial stability, economic troubles, economic stability, emotional troubles, emotional stability. We got to seek God at all times. This is something I'm working on. I pray that as I continue to do these videos, that God gives me the words, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, giving me the insight that I need to get be given in order to make a make a make a make a make a transition into showing and demonstrating my faith to him. I thank God that I have knowledge about the Bible. I thank God that. God giving me spiritual wisdom, insight, and understanding. Um, now I just ask that he enhance, help me enhance my prayer. Teach me to not be like the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Levitical priests in everything that I do. It uplifts me to, to start these prayers. It uplifts me to, to be a servant of God. It uplifts me to help other people better themselves. And that's what we, that's what life is all about. Life is all about helping each other better ourselves. The moment we get that into our brains, that life is about uh, helping others to better ourselves, the, the better we, this world will be. One last thing I want to make before I close. We got to eliminate that me, myself, and I attitude. God does not work on a me, myself, and I attitude. The, the more we continue to think about me, myself, and I, the, the, worse, the, the worse our souls and fate become. Fate, man is in charge of his fate, but God is in control of our destiny. The difference between fate and destiny is that fate is governed by choice, Destiny is governed by the choices that we make, which ultimately is governed by God.